In our last video, we took a look at Paramico. That was a library that allowed us to do a secure shell connection from a Python program. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a different library, NetMico. It's actually based on Paramico. It also lets us set up a secure shell connection with our network devices, but it's sort of custom tailored to working with network devices, very specific types of network devices, and it can make the configuration that we do a bit easier. And I want to make sure and expose you to this as well, in addition to Paramico. The uh, URL that you use to get to this documentation page is not one that's easily remembered, so I created a shortcut link for you. If you want to go to uh, kwtrain.com slash netmico, that's the name of this library, you can go to kwtrain.com slash netmico and it'll take you to this page. I've got a redirect set up. Now, of course, I don't manage this page. I'm not affiliated with netmico. So if that redirect stops working at some point in the future, you might need to do an internet search for netmico library. Now, let's get into this. I want to scroll down here on the documentation, pardon the scroll, but I want to point out some things that are really interesting about this. Here we see that NetMeco supports some very specific platforms. It knows how to speak Cisco IOS. How convenient is that? iOS XE, the Adaptive Security Appliance, NXOS, iOS XR, as well as several others. We're going to be focusing on Cisco IOS in our examples. And speaking of examples, they give us several examples as we go through here. We see that we use the command to get started from NetMeco import connect handler. And then we can set up a specific connect handler. And here they've called it Cisco 881 for the type of router, but we can name it whatever we want to. And we'll specify some things about this connection handler or the connect handler as they call it. We say, what device type are we using? We're going to use one of these supported device types like Cisco IOS. We're going to specify the IP address for that device. We're going to specify a username and a password. And not shown here, we can also use the keyword of secret and uh, follow that with the enable secret password to go into privilege mode. I've got some more examples as we go through, but I want to take you down to the bottom of the documentation, which gives us some really great reference material. Pardon the scroll, don't want to make you sick as I, as I scroll through this. All right, here's what I wanted to show you though. These different NetMeco methods, check this out. If we want to go into config mode, here's the command to do that. If we want to go into enable mode, here's the command to do that. So while we could send commands to say enable and then send the password, since NetMeco understands how Cisco IOS operates, we can say, yeah, go ahead and go into enable mode and, and pass all the parameters that you need in order to do that. Here's one of the commands we're going to be using in this example, net underscore connect dot send underscore config underscore set, and then we specify some arguments in parentheses. The arguments are going to be commands that we're going to be sending to the switch. This is going to send a set of configuration commands to the remote device. We don't have to say configure terminal to go into configuration mode. We just specify this command with the commands inside the parentheses that we want to send to the switch, and it just makes it happen in the background. So this can be quite a bit easier than Paramico. In fact, in order to contrast it with Paramico, I thought we would do basically the same thing that we did in the previous video. I've gone into our switch, switch B, and I got rid of the VLANs we created last time. If I do a show VLAN brief command, you see that VLANs 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, they're gone now. We're going to put them back, though, by configuring NetMeco. Now, of course, NetMeco does not come installed with our Python installation, so we need to add it. And we do it just like we did with Paramico. Let me add on a tab here, and I'll show you the syntax. I've already got it installed, but if you did not, if you're using Python 3.6, we would say pip 3.6 install netmiko, N-E-T-M-I-K-O. And I've already got it installed, so when I press enter, we get all these requirement already satisfied messages on screen. But if you do not have it installed, this is the type of command you would need to issue in order to add this functionality to Python. Now let's get into our text editor. And again, for the text editor, there are a lot of different options out there. I happen to be using Text Wrangler for uh, Mac OS. And I've called the name of this file SSH NetMeco. I've called it .text. I want to change that to .py. Let me do a quick save as. And I'll save it as SSH NetMeco .py. And we'll get started by saying, and we saw this in the NetMeco documentation, we'll say from NetMeco import connection handler. 
Now I'm going to define a connection handler. I'm going to call it CAT 2960 because I'm working with a Cisco Catalyst 2960 series switch. We'll say equals open curly brackets, and then we'll do an indention. And in quotes, I'll say device underscore type, close quote, and a colon. And in quotes, I'll say the device type, a supported device type by NetMiko, Cisco underscore iOS. And we just took a very brief look at the NetMiko documentation. If you're going to be using this on a regular basis, you'll certainly want to spend some good quality time pouring through the NetMiko documentation. Let's set up the IP address. We'll say IP, close quote, colon. And in quotes, we'll say that the IP address is 192.168.1.202. Well, I should put a, a comma after each of these statements. So comma after that, close quotes, comma. Let's set up the username to get logged in. I'll say username, close quote, colon. And in quotes, the username is Cisco, close quote, and a comma. Enter the password. In quotes, followed by a colon. In quotes is Cisco, another comma. And I'm going to give the enable secret password here. I'll say in quotes, secret. NetMiko understands the concept of an enable secret password. And we'll say, close quote, colon. And in quotes, so the password, again, is Cisco and a comma. And we're ready to close out this connection handler with a close curly bracket. Now, let's say net underscore connect, setting this variable to equal, connect handler. Oh, and that reminds me, this should not be connection handler. This should be connect handler. Avoid a typo there. And then in parentheses, I'm going to say star star two asterisks followed by the name of my connection or my connect handler, which I called cat 2960. Cat 2960 is just something that I made up. That's not something that I read in the NetMiko documentation. I just called it that because I'm working with that type of switch. So I'll say star star cat 2960, close parentheses. So that variable is going to allow me to shortcut the command, connect handler and star star cat 2960 in parentheses every time I want to give some sort of a NetMiko command. What we've already done should get us logged into the switch, but if I want to go into enable mode, here's the command we saw in the documentation. It's net underscore connect dot enable, open and close parentheses. And before we do any configuration, let's send a command, let's say, show VLAN brief so we can see what VLANs exist before we do any configuration. And then we'll issue that command again after we go through a, a for loop to add some VLANs. So I'll say output equals net underscore connect dot send underscore command. This is not a configuration command. This is just a show command. So I'm not saying send underscore config underscore set. I'm just saying send underscore command. Again, check out the NetMiko documentation to help guide you through this when you're setting up your own program. But I'm just going to do not a configuration command, just a show command. In parentheses and in quotes, I'll say show VLAN brief, close quote, close parentheses. And then I want to print the contents of the variable output. Output's going to store what was returned from that command. So I'll say print and in parentheses, output. That'll show me the set of VLANs initially before we do any changes. Now, let's replicate what we did in the previous video where we use that for loop to set up VLANs 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We'll say for VLAN in range. And just like we did before, we're gonna start at 10 and I say 51, otherwise it's gonna stop before it actually does 50. And I want to go in increments or steps of 10. We'll do a colon and let's do a tab. And here's where I can send those config commands. I can specify all of my commands that I want to issue in a single Python list. Remember the Python list has the square brackets on each side of it. And then I can use one command to send all the commands inside of that Python list. Here's how we set up that list. Let's say config underscore commands, and we'll start our Python list with an open square bracket. And the first command in this list of commands, in quotes, is going to be VLAN space. And then I'm going to concatenate onto that the string value, just like we did in the previous video, the string value of whatever VLAN is, because when we use the for in command to count through those numbers, we're going to come up with integers. We don't want an integer here. We want it to be a string so we can concatenate 
the uh, number onto the VLAN space command, this str command is going to make it a string. Let's do a comma to give the next entry in this Python list. And the next entry is going to set the name. So in quotes, I'll say name. Oh, notice I don't have to do the backslash n to say press return. NetMiko handles that for us. That's a nice feature. I'm going to name this VLAN NetMiko underscore VLAN underscore, and then a close quote. And let's concatenate the value of the VLAN converted to a string. So we'll say str and then in parentheses VLAN, close parentheses, close brackets to close out our Python list. Now let's populate a variable called output with the output that we received. When we entered these commands, we'll say output equals net underscore connect dot send underscore config underscore set. And because we're saying dot send underscore config underscore set instead of what we did earlier, send underscore command, this is going to make NetMiko go into global configuration mode. By saying send config set, it knows that it has to do a conf t in the background to start entering these commands. So it handles that for us. It's a great time saver. And the argument that I'm going to supply as part of this is simply the variable config underscore commands, which is that Python list containing two commands. Whatever the switch returns back to the program, that's stored in the variable called output. And now we want to print that value out. I'll say print output. And then we'll go through and do the next digit in our for in loop. And when we're done, we want to take a look at what VLANs exist now. So I'll once again say, in fact, I'll just copy these two lines. Let's do a copy and a paste. We'll do another show VLAN brief, and hopefully we'll have five new VLANs added. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's save this. And let's go run it. Let's get into the appropriate directory. I'm going to say CD Python. Do a PWD. Great. I'm in the right directory. We can see that my program is there by doing an LS minus L here on Mac OS, or a DIR if you were in Microsoft Windows. But here is SSH netmiko.py. That's what I want to run. And I'm going to execute it using Python 3.6. So I'll say Python 3.6 SSH netmiko.py. Let's see what happens. We didn't issue any time commands here like we did with a pair Miko. There seems to be delays already inserted into this. So that's really nice. First, we took a look at the VLANs as they exist originally. Notice that we jumped from VLAN 100 or VLAN 1 directly to 100 and 200 and 300. We didn't have any VLANs of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, but we see they're now being added. 40 just got added. We're signing a name. 50 just got added. And we once again issue the show VLAN brief command. Now look at this. We get some confirmation on screen that these five new VLANs just got created. We see their names. And we were able to do that using NetMiko. And... I would say that this was a bit easier to configure than using Paramico. Now again, NetMiko is not separate from Paramico. It's based on Paramico behind the scenes, but NetMiko sort of has intelligence about specific network devices, and we can leverage that when working with something like Cisco iOS.